Hello everybody, my name is Nick Adderley and I'm the Chief Constable here at Northamptonshire Police. Over the next couple of weeks I'm going to do a series of external blogs like this or vlogs just talking to you around some of the changes that we have made since I came into office just over 12 months ago. The reason for doing these specifically are going to be based on a report that will be published by Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary. That particular body is an independent body that comes and assesses forces performance against a strict set of criteria to make sure that it is delivering the best service that it possibly can to you, the public. A little over nine months ago, Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary came into the force and did just that, and they assessed a whole number of areas where it felt the force needed to improve to make sure that it was delivering that very best service that it could. On the 26th of September, that report will be published, and it's not going to make good reading. I've not shied away from this before, uh, and I've said that uh, based on the data and the information that they had at the time, it is right, and I agree with the findings that they have made. But I do want to reassure the public, and that's what these vlogs are all about, to reassure the public of the decisions that we've made and taken way before that review started, and certainly the progress that we have made since. What I don't want to do is the community to feel that actually we're not doing the very best that we can, because that certainly is not the case now. One of the areas in this particular vlog is going to talk about investigating crime. Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary were clear that the force was failing the public in the way that it was investigating crime, and I agree with them, and for that and for those victims that have not had that level of service, I'm really sorry. From day one, when I came into office, I have dismantled a number of the old processes and systems that were leading towards that particular failing in service, and we've started a series of developments now in terms of teams and quick time actions that make sure that you, the public, get the service as quickly as we can provide it to you, but making sure that quality is not compromised. We've changed a number of our policies so that you will get the call answered within a short period of time, that your particular incident or crime will be assessed there and then and a crime number issued if that's the case. But if not, and it needs to go on to further investigation, we've set up an initial investigation team. So they will take your concern, they will own it. That was one of the failings in the past that nobody actually owned this and it was very difficult for a victim of crime to get hold of somebody that was responsible for that investigation. That's all changed. And in October, we will be launching a new model of policing which will see the county divided into two distinct areas. That won't mean that we are two different forces, far from it, one force and one team. But what it will mean is that there will be a greater accountability and more than that, more recognition as to who your local policing commander is and who your neighbourhood inspector is and who your beat officer is and who your PCSO is as well. Also, our response officers now, the ones that deal with the 999 calls and the 101s, they will own that particular crime. So when you call in and ask for that to be investigated, that officer will hold that crime and see it through to uh, a hopefully successful outcome. This is the first of a series of blogs, as I've said, and the next one we'll be talking about how we protect vulnerable people. But again, I just want to warm people up to the idea that this report is not going to be a pleasant read. I've said that before, but actually to give you that reassurance that we are looking at this, we are changing it, and we are already making significant differences in the way that we police you in the county of Northamptonshire. Thank you.